Christmas Christmas production night. We're at Los Angeles with Dr. Festival. We're here with... Dan Swartz, executive director. Keep the writing director of the show starts out of the Great to meet you guys. So you said your film was a lot about yourself. In yes. Can you tell us a little about that? Well, it was, it's also, you know, at the time when we started to do the film, we were doing, you know, struggling filmmaker, struggling producer, editor, director, couldn't find the words. Um, and my friend Will came to us with the script and said, hey, you know, read the script and I connect you right away with the cell because I cannot find a job, I cannot find work, and we'd love going to get each other like So, as soon as I read these scripts, I you know what, I'm so sorry. I just had this passion to tell the story. Can you tell us a little about the different Because I know that there was definitely colors in the film. Yes. A lot of different aspects of it. Right, well, to shoot the film, we shot the film on the red camera. Uh, and the 70s. We did our pickup shots on the 70s. Uh, post production wise, we edited the film on Final Cut Pro 7. And then Danny used for visual effects. Uh, uh, okay. okay. and, and then we used Da Vinci to color. Okay. So a lot of different aspects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are here with James Bradley and Ben Holman. Great to meet you guys. You so we're at the Los Angeles Liftoff Film Festival, and we are here with the founders. We're going to just ask them some questions and see some about the history of the film festival. What year did it actually start in? So the film festival started back in 2011, back in London. So uh, we're now currently in our fifth year overall for the network. This is our third Los Angeles liftoff that we've done. We've uh, spread out now to 10 cities around the world, and we're growing, and it's looking pretty good. People pick up pick up films in such a different way and it's an interesting and almost a humbling experience to kind of see what what things how how the same piece of work gets translated elsewhere. It's wonderful to see that. So every everywhere's as good. Yeah. 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 So we have okay. we have a festival in Lumai, so people that have won the festivals, uh, won the specific festival um, the year before, they, they, they become part of our judging network, so they help judge the next films that come through. Okay. So we get, we get a lot of kind of community-based filmmakers, a lot of people, so in the Las Vegas and Liverpool for instance, which are two very similar cities in terms of in, indie film culture, we get, we get an awful lot of, of films that come through that kind of network, through that kind of community. I mean, in terms of the, the attendance in, in LA and in London, it's very much people who are interested in, in, in the industry, people who want to come and maybe they have already film it themselves. Um, that's less so in, in other cities like in Liverpool and Las Vegas. For example, those festivals are very um, are much more student-y in a way, because lots of like student filmmakers in the arts. Really? 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 And that's what's important yeah. yeah. about, about doing the festivals in all the different areas, is engaging the local filmmaking community and then sharing the work from one community with another. Yeah. And that's that's the power, that's what we're trying to do with it. That's yeah. a powerful thing with taking it around. It's great because you see so many times, so many filmmakers will come and watch the, the, the body of work that we're showing that are, that are part of Liftoff and they'll, they'll go away, hopefully they'll go away feeling more inspired, more kind of aware of what they can achieve because every single person that gets screened at Liftoff can do can do the film that won that festival. They can do that within their repertoire. We don't, we don't screen films that are beyond the reach of other filmmakers that we, that we program. No one feels disillusioned when they come to watch stuff. So it's worked, it's worked quite well like that, I think. Yeah. So we, we judge on every category, up to 10. So we, we've, got, we've got sound and music, we have um, story structure, we have the structure of the narrative. Direction, the direction, acting. Yep. The filling the frame, the filling the frame of narrative, so art direction, for example, all these different, all these different areas, we kind of score out of ten, and then, then we only, we, once we've done that, we only look at the ones that have scored an average of eight or above, and then we look at how we program it and how we fix that program based on that. Sort but of what's important for liftoff as a as a general kind of uh, motto, and it comes in our in our motto that you might see on screen is look beyond the, look beyond plus, put talent before technology. So we don't care if it's shot on a really expensive camera, we don't care if it's got famous people in it, we're more interested in the story and how that story's been told. Um, yeah, so crowdfunding has, has taken a massive hold at the moment for, for um, industrious filmmakers to kind of get their work made. It's something that, that through the explosion of social media, crowdfunding has really, really helped filmmakers release release their kind of ideas into, into the into the public domain and say look we need money to create this here's the benefits that you will gain if you, if you submit 
And people, you know, people love to see stuff. Um, for you guys, just the last question here. What do you see as the future for the Liftoff Film Festival? So, 10 cities at the moment is probably enough for the next three, maybe four years. We're looking to get ourselves academy qualified. That's That has to be any film festival's aim if they're trying to create something, if they're trying to create the ultimate opportunity for their filmmakers, that's where you need to get to. So we have we have a, a vague timeline for that. We're not necessarily going to be going to be victim to it, but we know what we need to do, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do all of the, the processes that we need to put in place. We're pretty much there already, but it takes seven years to get that set up. We're now in year five, so we want to make sure that we get all of our bells and whistles all tweaked, and we can move forward with that. Um, as for adding other cities, three four years maybe down the line, and we're probably looking to do potentially in China, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit more. It all depends on how it picks up in the yeah. east of, of the world, but we'll see. We shall see. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. It's been great talking no, with you guys. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us out here. Yeah, no and this is Krista with Production Magazine. Thank you.